This morning, San Diego's housing crunch is back in the forefront, and it's at the center of a joint summit involving county and city leaders. Paying more for gas, paying more for housing. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol is live at San Diego State University, where that summit's going to be taking place here. Dana Marie. Well, good morning, Eric and Netta. Well, this is a pretty big deal, this summit, because this is the first time in over two decades both the city and county are coming together to fight an issue that's really a uh, problem here in San Diego, and that's finding affordable housing. Now, they say that their plan is to use government land. Now, I did speak with Sean Elo Rivera, that's the city council president, about what their plan looks like moving forward. We are um, ensuring that the public's land is being put to the best use. Um, and so at the city, um, one of the ways that we can do that is in our capacity as the housing authority, ensure that San Diego Housing Commission property, um, that we are really taking a, a, a good look at ensuring that that property is maximized for the benefit of San Diegans um, and maximized uh, to create the most housing opportunity possible. Now, this joint summit is scheduled to begin at 9 a.m. this morning at Montezuma Hall. It will include presentations on the San Diego Housing Commission's plan for more densely built projects on lands it controls and how the lack of affordable housing, of course, affects the economy and homelessness. Now, City Council President Elo Rivera also said San Diegans deserve a government that owns our responsibilities and collaborates to solve problems. Now, a similar project is already working. 1,000 units are being constructed on county land and 2,000 on MTS-owned land. Agencies aimed for 10,000 subsidized units to be built by 2030, expected for low-income residents. County Board Supervisor Chair Nathan Fletcher says cities across San Diego do need to come together and use their publicly owned land to help increase the supply of affordable housing in our region. Now, this summit again starts at 9 a.m. at the Aztec Student Union, and it's public. So if you'd like to attend and hear more about what the city and county are doing coming together for this issue, you can do that this morning. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that resolution and if they vote to use this and push those projects forward. I mean